Gary Bell's current employer, Compmo Group, deletes website after viral reports of Michigan V registration scandal. Okay. The discovery and talking about these things is how we change these things. Okay. Because remember, remember the uh, we we got uh, we got that company to shut down because they got caught, but they got caught botting Mario. Remember that. <clears throat> On Tuesday, TDP broke a blockbuster report in 2020 v. Fraud in Michigan. The investigation had been buried by politicians, government investigators, and the press. On October 8, 2020, only one month before the, the general selection, Muskegon, Michigan uh, City Clerk Ann Mesh noticed a black female whose name was later redacted from the police report, dropping off eight to ten thousand dollars of completed v. registration applications at the clerk's office. Clerk Mish immediately noticed that the stacks of registra registrations included the same handwriting, non-existent addresses, and incorrect phone numbers. The Muskegon Police Department was contacted and asked to investigate on that day. First Lieutenant Mike Anderson was uh, on October 21st. First Lieutenant Mike Anderson was contacted by Tom Fabus, Chief Investigations in, uh, for Michigan's Attorney General Dana Ness's office, according to the Michigan State Police report. Fabus asked the Michigan State Police assistance with a joint investigation of alleged V fraud being conducted by the Muskegon Police Department and the AG. An investigative task force was formed and an investigation was initiated. Uh, this week, report this week this police report an investigation that took place in Michigan and the later and later apparently uh, ended by authorities. Bill Barr. Okay. On Wednesday, TGP reported that GBI Strategies Gary Bell was has a bile in the comp mo group website according to comp mo group gary bell manages over 70 organizing operations in 20 states and lends logistical and consulting support to another seven states bell brags about managing 70 different campaigns and work sites simultaneously uh, bell also brags about doing ies which is short for independent expenditure campaigns for groups whose spending on campaign related actions would not otherwise be disclosed or publicly available Bell appears to be part of the campaign world deep state on the left, the ones actually getting left wing candidates into office. Okay, probably responsible for the 26 swing seats in uh, the 2022 selection that went blue. Most of them. Yeah, freaking awful, guys. Combo Group has more on Gary Bell. He started he started in DC. This bio says Bell leads hundreds of field managers and thousands of canvassers. This guy right there, Gary Bell. We can now confirm that Combo Group took down their website. This happened yesterday. It's gone. This site cannot be reached. Ba ba ba. Look at that. Victory for us. We still gotta catch him though. According to Brad Kitty, uh Brad Kitty's Twitter, the Combo Group Facebook page has been deleted. Bad Kitty reported, wow, after after Gary Bell was exposed by the TGP as being part of a Michigan police report uh, police report business, both the com compmogroup.com website and Facebook pages are gone. Wow. The website was archived, was last archived August 10th of 2023. Recall GBI Strategies LLC is a left-wing campaign consulting company run by Gary Bell. And according to Compmo Group, Gary Bell manages over 70 organizing operations in 20 states and lends logistical and consulting support to another seven. They're nervous. Yeah, they're just, they gotta hide evidence, guys. Unfortunately, we need a justice system that's going to get these guys. And unfortunately, we don't right now. At least, well, at least not at the federal level. But uh, perhaps at the local level, Tennessee, they had a branch, right? Tennessee could probably do something about it. They have 19 other branches in other states, right? 